Welcome to Implementing a Continuous Improvement Process, a video series to support the use of RHEL Appalachia's Continuous Improvement Coaching Resources that were developed in partnership with Eastern Kentucky School Districts and the Kentucky Valley Educational Cooperative. This is the final video designed to orient users to the continuous improvement process. This video highlights phase five of our continuous improvement approach, ACT, and should be used with the available resources. To facilitate the use of these resources, workbook pages are provided whenever relevant. These resources include a description of a five phase continuous improvement process, along with templates and links to additional resources. You can access the full set of materials by clicking on the links in the description of this video below. You clarified your problem of practice as you set the foundation. You planned action steps, enacted those steps, and collected data to study the process. It's now time to dive into the final phase, ACT. This phase helps identify next steps based on the learnings from the study phase. Once a house is built, the builder can reflect on the process to inform potential improvements for the next project. Likewise, during the ACT phase, the improvement team reflects on the implementation process to identify new learnings and determine next steps. There are two steps in this phase, identify new learnings and think about next steps, adjustments, and implementation improvements that will help the school reach desired student outcomes. To identify new learnings, schedule a team meeting and ask team members to individually respond to a set of guiding questions like those presented here. Provide the questions prior to the meeting or allocate individual think time during the meeting so that all members have time to thoroughly reflect and contribute to the discussion. When determining next steps, ensure that all team members can voice their concerns and ideas about next steps. Allocate sufficient time to thoroughly discuss any conflicting ideas and aim for team consensus about next steps. Reaching consensus helps team members support the final decision. Based on what you learned from the implementation and outcomes data, your improvement team may decide to move forward and scale up your evidence-based practice to reach a larger number of students. Or your team might decide to revise the action steps and conduct a second PDSA cycle to test the practice again. Making small adjustments to your plan and retesting can be more efficient than starting over with a new evidence-based practice. Now it's your turn to apply all that you've learned about the continuous improvement process in your own school or district. 